<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, sharing this important moment together. We gotta think big. I know Texas likes to think big. Nuevo León also likes to think big. Nuevo León, Texas can become and will become a strategic permanent partner in the most ambitious border project that we're going to present. It's called Puerto Colombia Laredo Logistics City. We have the opportunity to create for the first time a logistic city on both sides of the border. This idea was given to me by Carolyn Mays. She has a copyright for the name Colombia Laredo Logistics City in which we have the opportunity to do this together. I'm gonna to show you what Nuevo León has to offer and what Laredo, which is our strategic ally, which is Mayor Victor Trevino, who's present here, is a business partner in which we're gonna do business 24 seven. The national context, you already know, we measure our borders to how the income tax collection is uh, collected by the federal government. We're the number two port after Nuevo Laredo. It's important to mention that we're not competing with Nuevo Laredo. The city of Laredo has the opportunity to have two borders with two different services. Nuevo Laredo is the most important customs city of all Mexico, and it has it just across the border. And then we have Colombia, the most important logistic city, also in this border. So the city of Laredo has the biggest potential not only to become, which it already is, the number one port in the U.S., it will become the number one port in the world. This security, we have to offer security for all our cargo. Nuevo León and Coahuila offer security. And Governor Samuel Garcia has the main goal to offer security 24 hours. We need to offer mobility 24 hours. Cargo cannot be stopping at 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Nuevo León will offer and is offering for all the cargo to move within the state in a 24-hour schedule. That, no other state can offer that with a border with so much potential. <clears throat> the near shoring, Colombia is the port of entry also for the near shoring happening in our state. Uh, Tesla is the first important arrival. There's an Indian company called Tata, is coming to Nuevo León. Uh, Kia is expanding its current uh, facility and all the important, most important companies, American companies, are coming to Nuevo León because they know that they can do business with us and we are a state that they can trust. We're making a $1.4 billion highway master plan to connect all of our cargo from Mexico to Colombia. This is already taking place. This is not a project. It's a plan that we're constructing with deadlines which have to be ready before 2026. La Gloria Colombia will be ready this December. And that's why it's urgent that we need to pay attention to the 255 state highway. There's no more time for studies. Nuevo León is doing its homework, which it hadn't done for 30 years. So we have to push all the machinery across both sides so we can have reliability. We didn't have any trustworthy. No one believed us before. So now we're doing all this to make sure that Texas know that we're for business. We even have it in our highway signals, the 255 state highway. We're advertising it. We're making the I-35 also advertising it in all the state highways because all our cargo is going to go through there. We definitely need to create a security corridor between Monterrey, Laredo, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Houston. We know that our market is within those Texas cities. 
It started with Lael. And that's why we're emphasizing and focusing everything on those cities. Because we know that that's where most of the 80% of the business is taking place in Texas. So we're really aiming in a very specific manner what we need to do. And we're already doing it. The numbers talk by themselves. Without, without the Gloria Colombia Highway, our numbers are increasing over two digits. This phenomenon we need to really realize is going to surpass us if we do not prepare. That's why I always emphasize pay attention to the 255 Highway. We're already doing our Mexican part. We need that highway to be doing, done four lanes next year. Because that highway, as you know, is two lanes, four lanes, two lanes, four lanes. It's not a trustworthy highway for all the cargo to go through for what's taking place. And additionally, with this highway, we're going to help the city of Laredo to discongest of all the traffic that is happening. The Wall Street Bridge and the Columbia Bridge is causing a lot of traffic on Mines Road. So that's why our clients, our specific clients, are all the cargo that does not need to stop in the city of Laredo, that needs to go straight northward. And that's where we're aiming and we're talking to different uh, transportation companies that if you, not, if you do not need to stop in the city of Laredo, just go <coughs> there. And that way we, we, we will discongest Mines Road. And trust me, the city of Laredo and Nuevo Laredo is going to win with this decision because more cargo can arrive to the city of Laredo in a very faster manner. <coughs> we already made a study. 60% of the traffic going through Colombia, over 87,000 vehicles a month, is going into Mines Road. So we are also contributing to that chaos happening on Mines Road. So that's why we're promoting in a very intelligent manner that we should emphasize on the 255 corridor. It's very good, all the developments that are happening in the city of Laredo, like the Killam, like the developments from mile 13, those are very good. But the future is in the 255 corridor. With the logistic city that we have, to, we have we're going to build together the city of Laredo and the state of Nuevo León with the help of Texas and the, state, the Texas state uh, government, we can develop all the corridors of the 255 of pure logistics. We already have the bridge. We don't have to invent a bridge. We already have the bridge. We're, we're, we're already gonna expand it. The state of Nuevo León has the resources to pay for it. We don't need, in this case, the federal government for funding. So we're ready. What are we waiting for? Also the city of Laredo, as our strategic partners, is also ready. So when we talk with Mayor Victor Trevino, we know that with Victor Trevino and the City Council of Laredo, we want to get this together in a fast manner. This is the radius that we're talking about. It's not that big. We have a 14 kilometer border. There was in the Texas-Mexico transportation border plan, we did a study over 1,254 miles study. The state of Nuevo León is going to fund a project which is 1% of those over 1,200 miles, in which we're we going to concentrate on what it has to be done for the logistic city. And we're going to do that study with a company called HDR. That company was the company hired by Techstop to do the Texas-Mexico border highway master plan. So we know what we need to do. We're going to fund the study, and we need to have that study ready so we can concentrate the Texas resources of Texas and then we will already invest in over $1.4 billion to make this a viable and most fastest border. We're also going to have, we already know the land use on the, on the American side and on the Mexican side. We have been talking to the city of Laredo, we have been talking to developers of how can, we can make this in a very orderly manner and making this a 24-7 operation on both sides of the border. So we already have the bridge, we we're already gonna expand it, we already have Texas, we already have the state of Texas, just we need to see a 
action. Now, what you're is doing the action that it needs. So now we need everyone to get on on the power with us and start doing what we need to do to make this a really feasible project. Here's our master plan. This is basically what we are basing on moving, even we're thinking of moving the little town of Colombia. We're going to move the little town of Colombia up uh, southward. We don't want any population living beside the river because we only have 14 kilometers. We're going to have only manufacturing, maquilladoras, uh, logistics centers on that part of the border with its cargo airport, with passenger airport, similar to the Tijuana with CBS, the small scale, with a railway station. So we already know with those 14 kilometers, we can guarantee the security no other border can offer. Who would think that having such a small border would not be a complete advantage on the situation that we live in? So that little border is the most promising piece of land on both sides of the border that we can develop it in a really fast manner. Also, we're also modernizing completely our port of Colombia. This Saturday, we're opening officially our checkpoint, which is similar to the I-35 checkpoint, which is exists from Laredo to San Antonio. That was one of the commitments Governor Abbott asked us when the borders were closed, that we needed to have a secure a security checkpoint before the toll booths. We did our homework. We did comply. It's going to be opening this Saturday. And we're going to start sharing information with CDP and Border Patrol of all the crossings that are going to go going through. We're also talking with CDP to start having pilot programs like this pilot program that is called a Global Freight. Instead of Global Entry, it's going to be global freight, in which companies, US companies like John Deere, Tesla, Navistar, will be paperless to cross. Are they are reliable companies that always use Colombia, and in an automatic manner, they will be crossing. So this bridge can offer anything, can offer everything that no other bridge can offer, especially in time crossings. So let's all work together and see that the Columbia Bridge can be the model of having an ideal crossing, cargo crossing. We're also going to be asking that security checkpoint with visas. Even though we're in Mexican territory, we don't want any migration issues contaminating our bridge. This bridge is meant for business. We're not going to allow any unnecessary problems to contaminate our project. So that's why we made the decision even in Mexican territory to start checking documentation. If you don't have a visa, sorry, don't even get close to Colombia. Use another crossing and do your public manifestation somewhere else. We have, I hope this lasts for a while, a unified cargo processing program. In that region, we're the only one that has it. I know it exists somewhere else, but in the meantime, we have to take advantage of that. For the produce, this is ideally, especially for the avocado, we started doing pilot programs with the avocado from Jalisco. We have CBP, USDA, Senacica, and Anam in the American side in one checkpoint instead of four. That brings the total advantage to any other border crossings. And it has been proven. It takes less than five minutes if you have all your paperwork. So this makes a difference if we want to get everything fast, Across the US, this is the way. These are one of ah, before the numbers. When we took office, there were around 3,400 a year and a half ago. Currently, there are over 5,500 crossings a day. By the first trimester of next year with La Gloria Colombia, we're going to go up to 8,000 crossings a day. To have an idea or perspective, the Wall Street Bridge is 16,000 crossings a day. So we're going to be half. So with that half, we're going to have at 80% capacity of the bridge. That's why yesterday, kindly with the invitation of Mayor Trevino, we asked formally to expand, we're ready to expand the bridge. The first step is to get the approval of the city council, which we, we, we did. We're going to start making develop a, a technical group from both 
both sides of the border. I personally be, are going to be every week in Laredo with the, uh, our counterparts from the city of Laredo to see everything we need to do on the paperwork and everything that has to be done for permissions. So we don't make the mistakes that usually occur. So we're going to be in a permanent uh, working together with the city of Laredo and hopefully the expansion of the bridge, which is not a new bridge, we can get it if we get everyone aligned in less than two years. Maybe you think this guy is crazy, but trust me, this is our goal. We need to get this ready. So that's why I ask in a very respectful manner for the state of Texas and for Texas to really see us as a one once of a time, once of a lifetime experience in a way that we only have four years and a half left. We need to get this done really fast. We have the money. We're not asking the federal government for funding. We're ready to do action. So please, 255, we need to get it upgraded. Other clients, mostly American companies. And just to conclude, Great to meet you. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for making this possible. I want to thank Textile in particular, because we have been working permanently with Carolyn and with Claudia Lagos on how designing this together. We cannot design it by ourselves. Everything we're doing from Nuevo León, if we don't get our counterpart in the same channel, all the effort we're doing is, is not going to do any results. So that's why, Secretary of State, please tell Governor Abbott that we're ready to do business, that our checkpoint is going to be open this Saturday and we're ready to offer all the security needed to make sure Colombia will be the most secure crossing between Mexico and Texas.